Hello, I'm Eric Rees. We're here to do Tai Chi Chuan, a Chinese system of exercise, meditation, and self-defense. Work at your own level. Neither I nor the senior resources of Guilford are responsible for any injury or sprain or pain that you might incur. Work at 70% or less of your perceived level. If in doubt, ask your doctor if you should practice. And as always, modify movements so you can sit in a chair or do things more gently or simply choose not to do certain movements at all if they feel like they may be harmful. Okay, so let's start with loosening the wrists, clasp the fingers, very important exercise. And most people when they start this one, they're surprised how stiff they are in this area of the body. So daily practice will remove that stiffness Loosen, relax, oil the joints, and reverse direction. And relax it down. Okay, let's do one for shoulders. Loosen the shoulders. Now, if you're doing it standing up, bend the knees a little bit so you go a little bit lower. And so we're also exercising the legs by doing that. Loosen the shoulders. Reverse direction. And relax. Okay, next one. Based on a movement from the form called White Stork Cools Its Wings, I haven't changed the position of my feet. You can do it with your left hand up, so you're mirroring me, we're mirroring each other, and take that hand and go down. And go down, like you're reaching to pick something up off the floor, but just go down to the level of your knee. That's called needle at sea bottom. And come up and gently stretch. White stork cools its wings and go down needle at sea bottom. Like you're gonna help somebody up off the floor, somebody who's fallen, and come up. Inhale up, exhale down needle at sea bottom. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale, white stork, exhale, needle at sea bottom. Other side. Now, if you're mirroring me, your right arm is up and needle at sea bottom, exhale. Inhale. White stork cools its wings or spreads its wings and down. Up. And down. Up. And guide the chi with the top hand. Guide it down the inside of the body. Lead it gently to the Dan Tian below the navel. And relax. Okay, good. Step out with your left foot, so we're mirroring each other again. And this one is called holding the moon. This will boost the immune system 
among other things. Push up gently and make a big circle coming down. Now always use the whole body. So we're using the legs, push down with the feet, raise the body a little bit and come down into the legs a little bit. You can see we're not really used to that, are we? We want to get used to that. Push up and relax down into the legs. Like we're sitting into the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Clear the mind. So let's find the meditation of our practice. Well, breathing deeply helps lead the mind into a meditation. Breathing deeply, inhale. And slowing down the breath changes the rhythm of the brain waves. So meditation is a particular brain wave. It's different from sleep. It's actually more restful and healing than regular sleep. So to get maximum health benefits, we must practice meditation. The body rejuvenates itself. So one of the keys is to really relax the mind as we meditate. Good. And take a little rest. Okay, let's do knee rotations. This one is for everyday practice without fail. I like to use that term when I teach without fail because if we don't practice, who are we failing? Ourselves. Okay, so we have choices. So a lot of people have knee injury or recover from knee surgery. We need to keep the knees healthy and if they're ailing, we need to work on healing it. Hands above the knees, nine gentle circles. If it's painful, you're going to hold still and move the energy using your mind alone, right through the knees, almost like you're washing through the joints with your energy, which is directed by your mind, your mind intention. We do nine circles, very soft, not overdoing. If you've had knee issues, this can help heal them but you must work without any pain. And then that's probably at least nine. Let's go the other way. Okay, good. <clears throat> Keep the feet wide. This is called the horse stance. It's like we're straddling a horse, like we're riding in the battle, right? Now, the next one is polishing the mirror or polishing the emperor's mirror. And if people polish the emperor's mirror and they did a good job, they got to keep their head. You know what I mean? Okay. So we polish the emperor's mirror. The rags are against the glass and we go up and down again, just at 70%. And with practice, you'll get lower over time. So let's all be patient, not in a hurry. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up and relax. And step back in and let's shake out the body a little bit, including the legs. Okay, good. Okay, the next one. Let's go ahead and start working on Tai Chi form. We're gonna do a few moves as exercise only, so we can still use a very small amount of space. So when you're traveling, you might be in a cramped hotel room or have limited access to a big open space. You can still do your Tai Chi. And you don't have to bring any props. It's just about you and the floor. That's it, that's all you need. So we're gonna do the second movement of the Tai Chi form. We're gonna to go to both sides. So you're gonna bring up your right hand and go deeper into the legs. Again, that half squat, like you're bending your knees, 
Again, notice we're not used to doing that. That's why it's uncomfortable. With more practice, it'll get comfortable. And turn to your right. So you turn the foot to the right, like you're facing somebody else. Then let the foot rest on the ground. Now look at the position regarding martial arts. This hand is protecting me from a kick, a low kick. This hand is blocking a punch. Maybe it's aimed toward my chest. Now let's turn back to the front. And rest. Other side. So your left hand comes up. Turn to your left. Face that person. And turn back. Relax. And this is called grasp bird's tail to the right. And then we call it grasp bird's tail toward the left in order to differentiate it from the move called grasp bird's tail to the left, which has the same name, but it looks different. So we differentiate it that way. Grasp bird's tail to the right, you're turning to your right, facing somebody over there. And look at this posture. When you put your hand up like this, what are you saying to the other person? Halt, stop. You don't have that permission to do that. You don't have my permission, you see? It's a very powerful statement without using your voice. You don't have my permission to do that. That is not acceptable. And then turn back. And grasp bird's tail to your left, toward your left. You don't have that my permission either. That is unacceptable in a polite and civilized society. Maybe we'll see one before long. And relax. Grasp bird's tail to the right. And back and grasp bird's tail toward the left and back and relax okay good shake it out it's good to take a little rest between the exercise for a couple of reasons one when we rest we remind ourselves we want to stay relaxed and also pay attention to meditating during the practice. Secondly, it gives us a chance to evaluate the body. How do we feel right now? Do we feel a little warmer? Have things changed a little bit? How about the hands? Do we feel chi? Do we feel tingling or heat? Do they look different? Are there darker places and lighter places on the hand, like it's blotchy? Okay, so we wanna be aware of what's going on, you know, in the room in our body, in our mind. Do we feel more relaxed, less agitated than when we started? It's only been about 10 minutes. So you want to evaluate yourself, analyze yourself. Now the next one, turn the right foot, turn the right foot out and step forward with your left, right toward me. Now we're gonna do grasp bird's tail to the left for you. And this is the difference in the two moves that have the same name. Come back. I was even doing this on a, in an airplane once until they threatened to call security. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, they knew these were martial arts movements already just by the shape. A lot of people, when they see Tai Chi, they don't realize it's a martial art. If we go faster, we're defending ourselves, but otherwise we're meditating, we're improving our health. Let the palms pass each other in front of the body. Deep breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale. And let's change to the other side. Grasp bird's tail toward the right. 
Again, we're using that word toward to differentiate it from the previous exercise. Now, when the palms pass each other at the level of the heart, we're sending healing chi energy to the heart muscle. A tai Chi is very good for preventing heart disease or healing from it. Maybe your doctor just gave you a warning. We have to check your heart. You may have trouble down the road. Well, can we reverse trouble before it starts? Yes. What's the first stop? Uh, the first step in healing ourselves, believe you can. Attitude provides altitude. How high can you go? How high can you think you can go, right? That's a real tongue twister. I'll try that again. Attitude provides altitude. <laughs> okay. Fortune cookie sayings, right? One of my favorites, the philosophy can drive you too. Everyone needs their philosophies in life, your personal philosophy. Who are your heroes, your idols? What's their philosophy? So one of my favorites is, instead of trying to get it, pretend you already have it. That has really helped me in my Tai Chi practice. Well, I can't kick this high. Well, pretend you can. Now what happens when you pretend? You see it in your mind. Pretty soon your leg's going way up high, way up high, higher than you thought it could because now you believe it. Okay, let's go ahead now and practice another one. We'll do four movements. Again, standing in place. It could be just as easily done in a chair. And we're gonna turn this way with your left foot forward. So you're mirroring me again and your left arm is in front. This is called ward off, ward off. Imagine you're holding a ball in your hand. And of course, in martial arts, it's somebody's head. Okay. <laughs> so you're holding a ball. Okay. And then we're going to do roll back. We're pulling them by the arm. Roll back. Now we're in the back stance. We've shifted the weight backwards. Touch the wrist and press forward. Press, the name of the move is press. One hand pressing into the other arm. Two hand push. Push. Now let's do it again. Lower your left arm and bring it up, ward off, holding that head, I mean the ball, Freudian slip, and then grab the arm and pull, roll back, press, two hand push. These are the four most important postures of Tai Chi Chuan, ward off, Roll back, you're grabbing an arm and pulling. Press, it's a kind of push forward. And two hand push, using both hands to push. Like when you open a heavy door. Now let's turn around and other side. Ward off. So shift back and bring that right arm up and roll back, grabbing and pulling. Touch the wrist. Press. This is a kind of block. You're blocking up while someone tries to grab you and push. Shift back. Push is a very good weapon. Learn how to do a good push. It can be better than a punch. Roll back, press, four movements, push. Everybody knows push. Ward off, roll back, press. Relax. 
relax. Guide the chi down to the dan tian and take a little rest. Shake it out. Why do we shake? Because it helps to get blocked chi unstuck. So the chi gets blocked. Why? Mental and physical tension. Tight joints will block the chi. A lot of diseases happen from blocked energy. Your Western doctor wasn't trained in the energy system of the body, but all the Chinese medicine based on energy, acupuncture, and qigong, and medical qigong, and other things, herbology, is based on getting energy unblocked in the body. Very important. So a lot of things can block the energy, but one of the biggest culprits is mental stress. So, I may be talking about you. I can see you in your living room or on your laptop. Yeah, so mental stress and strain is the biggest culprit. Why practice meditation? Now, why don't people practice meditation? Because it's so darn hard. And everybody tells me the same thing. I tried to meditate, but I couldn't turn off the thinking. I couldn't turn off. Well. Same thing for me, but I kept doing it anyhow, every day, every day, every day. Eventually, you learn to turn it off just like a light switch. Boy, what a valuable uh, uh, skill that is, you know? Can you have a skill without ever practicing something? You can't even be a good cook unless you burn a lot of food first, right? So you have to practice, and you go through a period of improvement, and then you can get pretty good. Other people might even eat what you made, right? So with meditation, same thing. We're all impatient, we want it yesterday, and we're, sometimes we're not willing to do the real work, the real practice that produces the skill. Very important. So produce a great skill of meditation. It'll add years to your life. In fact, some of the proof that's come out in recent studies, meditators live longer than non-meditators. And when they talk about long-term meditators, they only mean people who practice five years or more. Five years isn't that much time. How long? If I live 100 years, five years is nothing. Live 100, not a lot. 5%, right, of my life. So, it's worth practicing. Now, we do some moves from the, let's see, let's do the third section of Tai Chi. Just some moves from third section. Again, now we're doing more advanced practice. Be on guard. Should you do it? Should you not do it? Don't do it if you should not do it. Okay. Um, we're going to practice um, something that involves a kick. Okay. So here's our shape. I think we did this last time or maybe the one, after, the one before that. This is called snake sticks out its tongue. So when the hand darts out, it's like a snake tongue hissing, right? Like that. Snake sticks out its tongue. Your left hand is forward and your left foot is forward. So remember, I'm mirroring you. Now just follow as best you can. We're going to turn toward each other and cross the arms. Pick up your leg and kick with the heel and use your arms for balance. Now step down, twist, low punch, low punch. Good. Now we're going to do it on this side. Your right foot's forward. Snake sticks out its tongue. You're blocking somebody's punch. You're blocking downward with this hand. Block them downward and strike with the fingers. Turn and cross the arms in front of your body. And look over there and kick with the heel. Heel kick, use your arms for balance. 
step down, low punch, come up, shake it out, pretty good exercise. Now you don't need to kick, if you shouldn't kick, don't kick. Practice the other stuff and work up to kicking. You can practice kicking holding on to something at home. I could kick like this. Now the more kicks I do, the longer I'm standing on just one leg, the stronger that leg, the better my balance, and the fewer I fall, right? Fewer falls. You need leg strength for balance. A lot of people think balance is, I don't know what they think it is. Make the legs stronger. That's all it is, right? You gotta have strong legs. Okay, so snake sticks out its tongue. We'll do it again from here. Just holding postures is exercise in Tai Chi. How about you stay here for 20 minutes? Can you do that? Most people can't do that in the beginning. How about two minutes? Maybe. <laughs> so you hold the posture. What happens? Magic. You know, magic happens. Well, you're kidding. Well, you won't know unless you do it. Maybe I'm kidding, maybe not. You won't know. You'll have to do it. Oh, I can't just stand there and do nothing. I'm impatient. Yeah, that's what we're fixing. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm meditating while I stand here. Yes, standing meditation. Relax, breathe, feel your body. Feel your chi moving. And turn. And kick with the heel. But what if we stay like this for two minutes? Why not? Why not? You see, we have two choices. We can get better or bitter. Pick one. Two choices. Kick and turn the body, twist. Get ready to punch and low punch. Can we hold this for two minutes? We can when we learn how to relax. Wow, so what's causing my pain tension? That's it. Oh, when I learn to relax, I can hold that easily. It feels good even, right? So once again, this direction, snake sticks out its tongue, turn. Kick with the heel. Low punch. Relax, shake it out. Okay, now I hope you feel like you're doing something. What is Tai Chi Chuan? Exercise, did you feel some exercise? Meditation, well, I don't know if I can relax when I'm doing all that work. That takes practice. And then self-defense. Obviously, as we strengthen the body, we can fight better. We can protect ourselves better. Sometimes you're protecting against what's on TV. The onslaught of drug commercials. You know, if you watch Prime Time, what are you seeing? Every other commercial is for drugs, and every other commercial is for fast food that's gonna cause you to go on drugs. <laughs> and alternates, right? You see the commercials for different restaurants and basically we're getting junked up as human beings eating, cr well, I almost said crap, <laughs> but I can't think of a better word for it. Okay, I almost said it though. We're eating junk, things our body was never designed for. No wonder we're so sick. Oh, I have, now I have to take blood pressure medication, cholesterol medication. I got type 2 diabetes. And that's the beginning of the hamster wheel. You see? And then it's more's coming. More's coming because we cannot be healthy 
on drugs. Now, there are drugs that we need to survive. That's different. But just to be on drugs because we didn't take good care of ourselves, because we ate junk, come on. Okay, so also, I eat a lot of junk. Now I don't, I feel too crummy to exercise, you know? I feel too crummy to concentrate. Yeah, see what the culprit is, right? You're not you when you're hungry, right? You know the commercial, what are they selling? I don't even have to tell you. You're not you when you're hungry, right? You know the commercial, you've seen it. So we're getting conditioned to eat the junk and then take the drugs because we eat the drunk, the junk, right? Okay. So if you're healthy, you don't need medicine. Does it make sense? You see? Do you know that drug commercials are outlawed, I think, in every other country except this one? Yeah, look it up. They're outlawed, at least in most countries. Because the influence of television is so great, people know. How many times do they say, ask your doctor if you need something, but they didn't tell you what it's for? So they're making you feel sick in your attitude. So what did we talk about today? Your attitude produces the altitude, how high you go. You watch too much TV, you think you're sick. <laughs> or you're gonna eat the junk that makes you sick because you're being conditioned or brainwashed, right? Okay, so there's good brainwash it gets you to do what's good for you, and there's bad brainwash gets you to do what's bad for you. Okay, so know the difference. Practice your martial arts, your Tai Chi. You'll know the difference. You can be more objective, step back, think for yourself. And that takes us to the close of today's show. So we open the arms and we make a fist with the right hand, cover the knuckles with the left, and clap three times.